going on everybody welcome back to Canroid crypto I've had a Dell 3060 Ti graphics card fail from my uh, Dell G5 gaming PC so um, you can see this fan is spinning okay this fan here not spinning very well you see that so anyways guys we need to disassemble this card and I'm going to show you how to do that real quick first step in disassembling the car guys is to remove the fan shroud it's actually fairly simple on this card you can see right there that one little screw and that screw right there two and then there's two more on the other side number three is there number four is there so we're gonna loosen those four screws off and remove the fan shroud this card is actually very easy to disassemble as compared to some other cards that I've disassembled. So let me get those four screws out and then I'll show you the trick to get the fan shroud off. We have the four shroud screws off. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. Um, so the trick to get the shroud off is to just kind of put your fans in such a way that you can lift one side of the shroud at a time. So we're going to lift this side up. And you can see I'm just positioning the fans so that I can slide that part of the shroud out. Same thing over here. Just move your fan a little bit. Take one side of the shroud off first. And then slide the other side of the shroud off and flip it over okay so the next step is to remove the defective fan this one is good this one is not very good and we're going to replace it so very simple to get this fan off we have three screws now for the fan um, we have one right there number two is right there and number three is hiding down in there. So again, you just position your fan in such a way that you can get a small um, number, tiny, tiny Phillips screwdriver down in there. I think it's a number zero. That's what I have anyways. And I'm going to undo these three screws and we're going to take the fan off. Okay, so we have our three screws out. One, two, three. And you can see at that point the fan will just lift right off. And I'm just going to fold it back and f this is the part number for this actual fan. It's actually upside down right now, but the part number is FDC10H12D9-C. So I'm going to search for some replacement fans on eBay or Amazon. Um, do note that there are two different fans. Um, the one fan plugs directly into the white header over here. This fan plugs into the black header but you can see it also has another piece here that actually powers the LEDs for your fancy GeForce logo on your card so um, if you order if you order two fans it's going to be they're going to be slightly different you could probably get away with just plugging the fan in but you may lose the video or the color for your GeForce logo not a big deal, the, fit, the card will still function. But um, I'm actually going to order a set of fans, which is going to include like, like a right and a left or a left and a right, whatever sequence these actually go into. And we're going to get that fan replaced. So the next step is to kind of unplug the fan from the board and unplug the connector here. The other thing I suggest you do, guys, is take these little screws out. Um, like take your fan out of the way put your three fan screws back in so you don't lose them and put your four fan shroud screws back in along the edges so you don't lose them at least until your replacement fan comes in um, you don't want to put it back together and all of a sudden find that you've lost these tiny little screws so I put my screws back in place so that I'm not gonna lose them so they're all good if we peel back this little piece of tape here it's going to reveal another connector so you want to be careful disconnecting that like I said the red black comes up off that black connector and it powers 
the LEDs for your GeForce logo. Um, so we are going to disconnect that, but you want to do it very carefully, guys. You do not want to break these connectors. They're very small. Okay, so there's our first connector apart. Um, I'm taking a picture of it apart so you can see how it comes apart, but be very gentle, guys. You want to make sure you hold one side and pull the other. You don't want to put any stress on the wires themselves. Do not pull on the wires. Use the connectors or you're going to have a bad day. You're going to break something. Okay, so we have our fan shroud has now been essentially removed from the equation. Uh, we're going to put that aside. And the next step is to just get this little um, black connector removed from the board. Again, be very, very careful. Um, you can kind of pull on the wires on this fan because I guess this fan's bad anyways. But you don't want to pull the connector off the board and damage the connector. So the easiest way not to damage this connector, guys, is to take a little flat blade screwdriver. Um, put it very gently in here and turn the screwdriver until that connector lifts up. Um, you can also hit it from the sides. There's a little bit of a shoulder on the connector on the sides. I'm trying to do this one handed guys. It's a little tricky. But essentially once you get a little gap there on that connector, you should be able to just push it upward and out. You can see it's kind of loose there now. And I could probably just pull this connector right out now hopefully. There we go. So we pulled the fan out. Um, you can see the connector likes to move off the board. I'm just going to reseat it back down there. But anyways we're ready for the new fan. Let me get some fans ordered up this is the part number for the fan that I've taken out and you can see it has one connection and then a second connection for your GeForce logo so our replacement fans have come in for the Dell 3060 guys um, the part number is a little different 10U12S9-C compared to the original 10H129-C. Um, the biggest difference I see here is the amperage. This is a 0.35 amp fan. And these new ones are 0.45 amp fans. So these could just be Chinese knockoffs. I don't know. But anyways, I'll put a link in the video where I purchased these fans from. I got these from eBay. They're specifically supposed to be for the 3060 Dell TI graphics cards. But there is a little bit of a difference, but it's the closest thing I could find because you can see this fan has the second connector for your fan shroud. So let's uh, try to put them in the card. Like they physically look like the same size, but the quality of the fan, you can see the plastic looks a little rough on the inner blades of the fan there. Not nice and clean and smooth like these ones. So these could very well just be a Chinese knockoff fan. I'm trying to get the light just right so you can see. You can see that rough plastic there, guys. Like right there. It looks a little rough. Not as well machined and refined as the originals. But we're going to swap them out. They look to be the same size. Any fan is better than no fan. So we have our new fans in place here guys. Uh, one thing to note, um, the connectors do not match the same colors the same way they came out of the card. And what I, what I mean by that is, this is the fan that came out that has the extra whip on it for your fan shroud. If you look at that connector, that connector was black. On the fans that we just installed, that fan right there is the fan that has the whip and you can see that connector is white so in an effort to put it exactly back the same way I had to flip my fans like white to black and black to white um, so my fans are in place you can 
see it's got uh, got a nice little spin spin on it and also the other one here and the most important thing the little connector it just seats down inside this little metal bracket right here and this is the little connector that your fan shroud plugs into and the most important thing is just to kind of root your cables kind of nice and neat um, you can kind of jam them back in here just be careful these sharp metal edges guys because uh, these can definitely cut your wires and cause a short circuit so everything's ready to go my fans are mounted my wires are all plugged in all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug that fan shroud into that little white connector and I'm gonna try to piece it all back together check it out okay I have the fans back in I have the fan shroud uh, mounted back in see the fans are freely spinning here fan shroud is mounted in I have cable managed my little fan wires somewhat efficiently and just kind of tuck them in out of the way I could probably tuck it in a little further not a big deal okay guys the moment of truth um, let's go drop this down in my 3060 TI rig and let's make sure it's working so here's my little 3060 TI rig guys um, you can actually see I have another card here with a failing fan so I'm just gonna put a sticker on that um, this fan you can see look sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but uh, I ordered two of those fan kits so this is the next fan that's going to get replaced. Okay, so let me shut that rig down. We're going to pull this card out. We're going to put the other card in. And then I'll repair this card afterwards. And there we go. I replaced that one fan in this unit as well. As well as the two fans in this unit. I now have this project completed. I wanted to get all my 3060 Ti's in one rig. I wasn't able to do that because I had fan problems on these two cards. And I've actually added a couple fans here actually as well for more airflow. Um, all these cards are getting very, very, very close to 60 mega hash on Ethereum Classic at the moment. I think that's what I'm going to let this rig mine. I'm not really sure. I keep changing my mind. Ravencoin, Ergo, Ethereum Classic. I don't know. But anyways, guys, there you go. This project's completed. All of my 3060 Ti's are now in one rig. Makes me feel a lot better. I don't... I still have other things lying around, but uh, this was a project I definitely wanted to complete. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. And uh, if you're still mining, I mean, we're losing money, but if you're still mining, guys, happy hashing.